Hello! So, wow, my voice has deepened. I haven't had, like, any time to do any real video editing. Um, I've been wanting to get more of my Anime Expo vlog out, but those are a lot of editing. So, I wanted to get something up on YouTube for you guys, just something simple, and I was thinking, I was like, maybe I could do a house tour, and I was like, no one's really gonna want that, so I went on my Instagram, and I made a poll, and I was like, yo, do you want me to do a house tour? And I will put the screenshot here of the overwhelming, at least overwhelming to me, amount of people who said that they wanted a house tour of the new house that I'm in, because, like, I moved out, if you don't notice, by the change of scenery. I am no longer in my parents' home. Um, but yeah, like, over 70 of you said you wanted a house tour, so here we are! Let's just get started with outside. Alright, well, we're outside. As you can see, we are the only house on the block street cul-de-sac I don't know what this is we're the only house that's decorated for Halloween um because it's the middle of September well the end by now but we decorated in the middle of September but yes so here is my lovely bike this is the walk up to our house we live in a split home so that is actually not our door but this is the pathway to our door. None of the Halloween decorations are on yet. We're trying to save the batteries a little bit, but we do still have some cool stuff like hanging up in the trees here. Boom. This spider here drops when someone gets near the door, but again, he is not turned on yet because it's just not time. So let's go in. So here is our wonderful living room. We're still kind of getting settled in here, but this is a new painting that I absolutely love. Some paintings that I brought in. This is our wonderful living room plant. Her name is Genevieve. My roommate Miriam brought her in. I absolutely love her. And we have a little whiteboard here that's really fun just to keep everyone in communication. Draw memes, you know the basic stuff. And then our pride and joy. His name is Stubby. He's absolutely wonderful. And if you can see, his name is Stubby because when he was rescued, he is actually missing his little fingers. So he just has little stubs. So there he is. I would pick him up and play with him for you, but he's enjoying his heat lamp. So I'll just leave him be. This is his role model who has been knocked over recently, but they like to sleep together and have naps and they have a good time. We also have a cat, I don't know what these are called, playground thing that Angel refuses to use. But we'll travel up. We've got some more of our little Halloween decorations. We don't have very much inside the house, but up the stairs, boom, my room is here. Simone's door. I'm not gonna go in her room, obviously. It's rude to go in your roommate's rooms. But upon entering mine, we have this beautiful Polaroid wall that I am very proud of. And I still have more room for more Polaroids. And you are greeted by so much stuff in such a small area, but I somehow managed to make it work. Well, there's the back side of my door. I really, really enjoy decorating, if you can't tell. I'm very proud of this bulletin board as well. I have all my phone cases here. Actually, that's not even all of them. There's more on my Yuri and Ice Shrine. Um, some stuff, some of my own art. It's fun to display in my room. A sewing machine down here for when I'm sewing. So much stuff. I love burning incense. I just absolutely love incense. Oh, it's just more decorations. Decorations for days. This is a dresser that I hand-painted about a year ago. This is actually my childhood dresser. I've had this since I was, I think, a baby. Um, I've got some D&D &D stuff here. I've got my wand collection here. I'm absolutely in love with these. Back here, I've got some stuff for cosplay and also my t-shirt commission. I'm so friggin' broke. Please commission me for t-shirts. This has been a PSA. Oh, but then from there we go. We have my closet here hidden by a 2018 beautiful flag. 
it's a little empty right now. I also have my cosplay shoes up there just because laundry needs to be done. So, fun fact, this rug here is actually, like, a hand-woven rug that my dad bought me when he was in Iraq, and I've had it since I was, I think, like, five or six, and I've just always had it, but that's pretty chill. We've also got a bookcase here. We don't talk about this mess. This is just where I store boxes. My overcrowded bookcase here. I need a bigger bookcase, but I don't know where I would put it. And up here, I also have my shrine to pause. Um, these are his ashes right here. I've got some, his note in here and some stuff from the vet and Polaroids. And there is his paw print inside of this little shadow box. Ah, oh, some more, more decorations. Oh, some old phone cases for my old phone. And that leads us into my Yuri on Ice Shrine, my absolute pride and joy. Just, uh, I love this shrine so much. I cannot tell you, like, how much this shrine just, like, brings me happiness. And I even have, like, some of my own art on here. I've got some wonderful body pillows of Zarya over there. Oh, let me see if you can get a good angle of her. I have... Aizawa over here. He is wonderful. I love him so much. Uh, some more decorations. Decorations as far as the eye can see. My rock collection, whom I absolutely love. This isn't even all my rocks. These are just the ones that I like to display. And some figurines. Some more figurines. And even more figurines. I have actually been extremely lucky with my figurines, and most of these have been gifted to me. And my laptop over here, where I keep some of my drawing stuff. A really awesome locker that I love, that I am still working on sticker collaging, because, oh, there's just so much more room on there for stickers. And I think the last thing to see in my room is going to be, I've got some wig heads here. Up here, I have a collection of stuffed animals that I did not get rid of when I moved. Some other collectible stuff. And then down here is more just like random things that I use for crafting and day-to-day -day life. And this sin. Sin. And with that, we're going to wave goodbye to my room and go across the hall. So here we have Dan and Miriam's room, and they left the door open, but I'm not gonna pry on it. We have two closets here. This is all of our hair stuff. If you can tell, we all very much enjoy doing hair. Who would have guessed it? We also have our winter closet that has no winter clothes yet, but it will soon because it's getting cold. And then from there, oh, hello. Hello, sir. A bathroom, a gorgeous, tiny, little, wonderful bathroom. Hello. Oh my gosh. And there's honestly, there's not that much to this little bathroom here. He's just, he's a tiny boy with a tiny bathtub and a cool little speaker. And just, yeah, there, there he is. There, everything is. I mean, you don't really care about what's in our medicine cabinet, at least I would hope not, so... But from there, we're gonna head back downstairs and turn here into our glorious kitchen. It's not as clean as it could be. I was honestly just way too lazy. But we have a brand new dishwasher because when we moved in, our dishwasher broke. We also have a brand new stove because it was broken when we moved in and then they fixed it and it caught on fire. And so we got a new stove. But everything in here is pretty darn great. Fringe is a little small, but you know what? It's fun. We've got these little Minecraft magnets here that we have not made anything with. We have sentence thingies. Here's some of the incredible sentences that we have made. Wonderful. 
these are all of us. I originally made these for our whiteboard, and then we found out that the whiteboard is not magnetic. So here is all of our faces with glued onto magnets, and they are not the best pictures because the library printer is not that great, but you work with what you got, you know? And see, from there we have our, our tiny little kitchen table that I absolutely adore. I think he's great. And between the four of us, the amount of kitchen appliances that we were able to bring into this house was honestly incredible. Angel's food. I don't know where Angel is. I have not seen her all morning. But in here we have wig heads. So, so many wig heads all in our laundry room and kind of a storage room. I also have some more of my cosplay stuff over here. This is all my Warbla and my Thebra that I scrapped from Zethrid and I'm going to reuse and like EB Apom and all that. And then moving on into here, this is actually where our heater is. But since it's not winter right now and we don't need to use the heater, I have been storing my cosplay stuff in here. We still have no clue what we're going to do with this once um, winter comes and we need to turn this heater on over here. So that'll be fun to figure out. But for now, it is all stored in here and it is safe and sound. And I'm very happy that we were able to at least find a place for it all. From there, there's really only about one thing left for you to see. We have this closet here. That's not that interesting, but we do have a lot of movies, and this is where I keep some more of my cosplay stuff. Well guys, that was about it for the house tour. I feel like it wasn't that exciting. I feel like I could have done better. I don't know. Um, that's my house. This is my room. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't stalk me. <laughs> um, I am going to link a wish list down below. Uh, this is, it just has things that we don't necessarily need. They're not like necessities. That's, they're like, we have everything that we need. They're just things that would make our lives a little bit easier and would be nice to have. Um, so I would really appreciate if you took a moment to look down there and possibly grab something. Again, like totally do not have to. But if you do grab anything, like, let me know, show me that you did buy something and had it sent to my house, and I will send you prints, or I will do a custom t-shirt for you, um, like, and, like, that'll be the payment, like, no issues, like, I, like, I, I don't like just accepting things, so I will give you something in return, just, like, let me know what you want in return. I also have a Patreon now! No one's joined it yet, even though I held a poll, and I think like 10 people said that they would want to join, and no one has joined it, so definitely look down below with the Patreon there, consider donating, um, once I actually get patrons, I'll start using my Patreon-only Instagram, and I'll start updating more on there and stuff, and that would just give me money to work on more cosplays, because I know that's what most of you, on YouTube, most of you are here for my trans videos, but a lot of you come from my Instagram and my Instagram followers are mostly for my cosplays and the trans stuff is just sort of on the side as well because um, I'm a versatile person I do a lot of stuff there's a there's a lot to me you know um, but yes that was my house uh, I did not put my roommates in here because I weren't sure if they were comfortable being filmed or not um, obviously I didn't go in their rooms and stuff either because like that would be really disrespectful and rude to do but Yes, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I love you, and I think you're an amazing person.